Smith Nowazowski, just across the street from here, heading to the west and East Bridgewater. A fine boardwalk can be found beyond it all. And here we are, heading east towards the coast. We'll first go up an access road and cross a working cranberry bog system. So we came from this direction and now we're heading to the east and the cranberry bog is nearing its harvest time. We took a look at this place about a week ago but already there appears to be stuff going on. It's interesting the color a cranberry bog takes when the berries are getting ripe for har harvest. It's kind of a deep burgundy color. It's cool. A nice contrast against the trees, which in this area haven't, they're just about at peak foliage. You can see the little pump shack actually has a solar unit on it. It's also fueled with propane. It's got power running to it. And over here you've got a little old pond that probably helps to comprise some of the bog water supply. Oh, there's deer, yeah. This, that's another thing about the south, if you like tracking animals, the tracks tend to show up well in this type of sand, more than lots of places. So it's a great place to get familiar with tracks. And this is an interesting little blaze. Someone hand penciled in the direction to make sure you get it straight. There you go. See a little penciled arrow. Some necessity mothering a helpful invention. A last glance at this bog and forward we go into the wildlife management area. And now we've begun to enter the forested parts. This is reputed to be an old Algonquian access road. Another old Indian trail. That's another aspect of this neck of the woods is how many ghost remnants there are of the uh, pre-Columbian settlement presence. And this is the direction we came from. It heads back to the parking lot and ultimately all the way to Newberry. We're on the edge of uh, an open pond system Stump pond, my yeoman scout indicates. So there's signage or map information. A lot of yellow. We're in the wildlife management area at this point. My experience in these places, they're generally the least understood and visited of all the protected lands in the Commonwealth. They're originally intended to be game preserves on the hoof, just whatever the basic species mix is. It's a place that was paid for by years of hunting taxes and fishing licenses. So it's set aside for hunters, as it should be. What's interesting is that the decline of popularity in hunting has led to significant increases in all the 
native populations of everything you can imagine and a resurgence of moose. So I've often come to places like this and run into like new generations of wildlife who have almost forgotten to be worried about humans. Wow, there's a trail running down along the pond edge. And you can hear summer birds that are lingering, they haven't left yet. That's a rob. It's actually making some of its caroling thrush noises. Now this is the upper extent, it was a cedar swamp once, but now it's an upper extent of Barrage Pond. The basin of the actual pond is a smaller kidney shaped thing to the southwest ways, but uh, it's an impressive little water body. It was probably formed when they decided to completely dam this sluice way up. It's just been set in place and locked. This heads back to the parking lot. This looks off towards what's left of the actual cedar swamp. And you can see there isn't much flow down here. Quite a drop. grown in quite a bit too. So we plan to follow this stretch until we come to whatever quandary there is that occasioned its lack of completeness. And here's another cool old Bog Canal, we run into these constantly down here. Thaddeus Chandler, elsewhere, pretty much. The preserve land story here is recycled cranberry operations and whatever forested margins may have existed around their fringes. This little outlet canal seems to have a bit more flow than that other block thing. And here's the tailings, the old digging pile for where they put the dirt they must have had to move to make this thing. I can hear some kind of hawk squawk. And this is where the whole mess ends for now. The, uh, there's a small section as yet unnegotiated off this way. I'm on this tiny little tuft, sort of like a Yankee gravel pit butte. Height of land. The height of land, so to speak, for the panorama. And it's cute as a dickens. There's the uh, pond off in the distance. And this is more or less where you land as you attempt to head east on the Bay Circuit Trail here in the Burridge Pond Wildlife Management Area. This is where the Bay Circuit Trail temporarily terminates at the eastern side of the Burridge Pond Wildlife Management Area. It may already be bow hunting season. I don't keep track of this, but I've observed 
number of hunters coming out with bows and all sorts of stuff. It's probably a great place for hunting. So, at some point this will be resolved. It'll most likely head in the direction where that roadblock of large boulders is. And pretty much where we are. 